hi guys my name is michael in this video i want to show you how you can upload your files from your phone to github and also i'm going to show you how you can edit it if you want to correct some mistake you might have made so using chrome so click on it i've already lo logged into my github already so if you have not logged into your github log into it then come to these three lines on top here on top right here click on it then click on your profile your name click on your name once you click on it right here you can see repository right here um, the number we have six so I've created six repository so I'm just gonna click on it repository So from here I can now create a new repository so do that I'll just click on new then put in the repository name so I am gonna call my um, web okay web page okay so that's it web page and it's available you can notice they have this green I says web page is available that's what the name is available and I have a pass mark so yeah I can leave a description if I want to describe him the content or whatever I also describe it will also turn into a readme which we can also read later once I'm done creating it so uh, I'm just gonna leave all this empty I'm, I'm going to leave this on public so I'm good let's click on create repository So I'm done creating the repository. So now we want to load our files. Some of this code you're seeing here is what you use if you're using your laptop studio and from the command line in Visual Studio you want to load your file. But since we're not using Visual Studio, we're not going to go there. Okay, right here. What we're going to, we can see create a new file. No, that's not where we're going to. We have a file already, we've already created it, so we want to upload it. So we're coming to uploading an existing file. So we're going to click on uploading existing file. Okay, now we're not going to click on choose your file, then allow, allow. So now you're going to choose where the file is. Um, let me click on file. So you have to know where you have stored the file. Is it in your memory card or is it in your phone memory card? Is it in a folder or not? Okay, so right now I'm going to check around, see okay, where I stored it. Let me check my memory card. Okay, I've seen it. I started in my memory card. So this is the HTCSS and the HTML. You can see the name index and you see the CSS style. Now there's some things you have to take notes when you want to load to GitHub is the name of the HTML. I do advise you to make it a small letter or true. Then also use index dot html don't give it any other name so if you give it h index dot html that works much better okay so we have the css and we have the index so i'm going to click on it long press the another long press so i want so now we have our html and css so now click on both of them now click on open so you can see that both been loaded in now I want to put image to so I'm gonna click choose again choose your file then come to image so this is the image I'm going to use then click on open 
So now I I want to explain some things. Choose a file only chooses if the the file you want to upload. If the file you're uploading is in a document, you're not going to be able to choose the old document. No, you're only going to be choosing the file specific file. If it's image, you're going to you're going to choose the image itself. You're going to if it's the HTML or the CSS a specific file, you can't load the old folder into the choose file into GitHub through this method you can only pick specific files so now we are done loading it we're gonna click put here and first we're gonna type here first this is our comment first commit okay then you click on commit you can leave a write a message if you want with optional commit change click on it okay you can see let's view and um, boom look at it we have uploaded our project to github Okay, now you have loaded your file. In case you want to edit it, or maybe there's something you want to change in your file, just click on any one, maybe the HTML or the CSS. So we're gonna click on the HTML. See? So once you click on it, you can view your code. Now let's edit it edit file click on it you can also delete it if you want to so now I've clicked on edit so now we can edit our file so now when you're working on your code on your phone maybe on Visa Studio on mobile yes there's a Visa Studio app on mobile if you want to know more about it, there's a link underneath I'm going to leave in my description so you can know how to download Visual Studio for Android. Now, when you're working on your code, you probably put the document name, you created the document and you kept your images there. But since you are now uploading, uploading it to GitHub, you didn't move the document name along. So what you need to do is to remove the document name. Come here and remove the document name. Okay, now I'm going to try something else. Since the forward slash did not work. So I'm going to go back. Get Go back to the image. The permalink click on it so after that I'm going back to the HTML then okay, click on it the name so I'm going to where the image is because the image is not showing then I'm going to paste in the permalink okay let's do okay seems i didn't get the link there so i'm going back again view then click on it long press so if you long press on it then i'm going to copy link address then go back to the HTML then click the three dots at this end then edit file then go back to where the image link is right here then I have to be careful that I don't touch the double quotation mark then paste in the link 
okay so i've pasted in the link i believe it's going to work now so this is the link so let me update okay up date then click on commit change so now let's view that let's go to uh, settings page then click on the link Okay, let me go back. That should have worked. Okay, that did not work. So let's try something else. Click on it. This is the image. I'm going to take the link from here. Click the three dots on top here. Uh, the one beside the main. Click. Then click on the Parma link on the path. Okay, let's click on the path now. So I'm going back again to the HTML view code index. Click on the three dots at the trial. Then yep got that then paste it in okay done okay so let's try it again let's see so third so let's commit change back to settings then click on the link oh why fresh again yep it's working now So that's the image now showing. Okay, so that's the image now showing. Let's go back. So what I did was I copied the path. I copied the path, then went into the image link and pasted it there, which was basically just the name of the image which was there already but maybe the space or some maybe there was a space or something up was wrong but then i now copied it back into it copied it into the html and reloaded the page again then it worked so right now you can see it's showing now let's see if if you want to host a page on github let me show you how you can do that you come to your settings, click on settings. Then come to page, click on page. Okay, now the page is uploaded, we now come down. Okay, now we're in the page. Come to none, click on it and choose main that's the main branch sometimes you might see master there so you click master depending on where your folders is was loaded in you just have to pick so you just save it it could be main or master you might see there okay so after that i clicked on save and it has been saved and a link has been created this is the link right here so if i click on this link 
it takes me to my page so right now I can now share the link for other people to view the website the web page I have created and it's really cool so thanks for watching please subscribe and like and comment